This pitcher for the Royals' name is Cole Gatlin Reagans, and things fell apart pretty bad for him. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. He gets the first out of the six there. He got traded to the Royals. Look at him look down at the ground after this pitch. Something's going on down there. He got traded to the Royals from the Rangers for Araldis Chapman earlier this year. The Royals made him a starting pitcher, and he's been pitching like crazy. Looks down at the mound again after that pitch. Doesn't like what he's seeing there. Something's bugging him down there. He's been pitching great as a starter. Gets Bichette two outs now. That pitch is outside to Vladdy. That's a nice same pitch. Got him swinging. Got him looking. Lowers it a little to get the chase. Doesn't get it. Goes back to get it looking. Doesn't get it. And he loses him. And he bends down. And then he looks at the ground again. And he doesn't like what's going on there. Runner on first. Now he's not in the windup anymore. He's in the stretch. For those that are very new to baseball, it means that he's pitching uh his body's already turned he's not like turning into it i don't know how do you describe that for i guess you just show non-baseball fans what i'm talking about which i will later on this one's fouled away the one one pitch that's a really nice slider swing and miss up top with the fastball two two pitch slider again looks down at the ground a little bit and wants that as strike three doesn't get it bends down again two runners on two outs they're like uh should we go talk to him yeah, let's go talk to him. He's pitched well. It's a close game. He's got two runners on now. Maybe he's getting a little tired. They go chat with him. They say, hey, whatever you do, just don't fall down mid windup and throw the ball away, okay? The next pitch, oh, no, he fell down mid windup, threw the ball away. Both runners advance. What the heck happened? He gets up. He gives a quick thumbs up. He's like, I'm good. Just a little embarrassed, but I'm good. They're like, are you sure you're good? Let's go out. And he's like, no, I'm good. Turns his back to him, like, don't come out here. So they're thinking, okay, let's not go out. But then teammate kind of looks and is like, hey, maybe these guys should come out. And they're thinking, uh, real in limbo. Should we go? Should we not go? He's like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Don't have to come check on me. You already did one mound visit. We can't do a second mound visit. It would have to be an injury thing. I'm not injured, all right? Licking his fingers. Here's what happened. His lead foot doesn't clear the ground. It kicks up on the dirt, twists up, and just... All sorts of messy. He goes down pretty hard. So it's one ball on Kirk. Now the very next pitch, his feet aren't going to get tripped up, but the pitch is way high, and a run is going to score that makes it a two-to-one game. Pretty crazy. They still haven't got a hit. It was walk, walk, wild pitch, wild pitch, and that scores a run to cut the lead in half. Licks his palm of his hand there, licks his fingertips, He's licking all over. He's just a licker. Uh, The green screen got broke on that pitch. The next pitch, foot gets stuck again. That one's away. The next runner comes, tie game. Walk, walk, wild pitch, wild pitch, wild pitch. After going five and two-thirds scoreless, things fall apart. Ump comes out and he's like, are you good? And they're like, well, this is your second mound visit. And they're like, yeah, but it's an injury visit. He kicks the dirt around. He's like, this is the problem. This is what's messing me up. And they come out and say, hey, well, because it's a second mound visit, we we have to act like maybe you're injured. Are you injured? He's like, I'm not injured. I just keep I keep catching my foot on the ground. I keep scraping the ground. And I keep falling. So we're like, well, um, maybe it's an injury. So let's practice this. And he throws one. He says, I'm good. But it's a 3-0 count. There's two outs. The game is now tied. The next pitch, no falling, but a ball. And they say, okay, well, let's just, you're done now. You're out. I kind of wanted to figure out what was going on. Like, why was he falling? And my best guess, and I'm not a pitching coach at all, but just looking at footage is that when he went to the stretch and he's at 100 pitches, fatigue kind of set in. You can see on the right, he's in the windup where he gets to rock into his motion, and he's kind of just a bit quicker, and he gets his leg extended more. His leg might even be coming up more because he's got that momentum, that rocking into it, where on the left, he's in the stretch. And if you don't know, you do this to keep the base runners not getting huge leads. He's not getting his leg as high. It's not as fast, I think. And his foot is getting caught. And maybe that's fatigue. Maybe that's just, I don't know. But you can see, look how much his foot when he was in the windup was clearing. It was landing, you know, past his left foot. Where this one, he's not getting it higher on the left side, and it's scraping. So that's my diagnosis. It was a little bit of fatigue. Maybe the mound was messed up a little bit. Here are the three pitches. And the middle one was just a wild pitch, the one that broke the green screen. Because his foot clears, 
I think he's just a little cautious now. Like maybe he's coming down to really plant it, but you can see that the the bookends, his heel just drags. I don't, I don't think uh, it had anything to do with the mound because it's clearly that his leg isn't clearing that zone. So maybe that's fatigue or your pitching leg or something. But I, I again, I'm not a pitching coach, so I don't know what it is, but my guess is fatigue. Thank you for watching. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. I appreciate them for sponsoring it, and I appreciate you guys for watching it.